Hello and welcome back to Surround Dead. It's been a little bit since we've covered Surround Dead, but there was a little bit of a lull in uh, releases on anything new. But hey, we've got a new unstable patch 1.4.0 Apocalypse, and they've added some pretty neat stuff. So uh, let's jump in and take a look at uh, what this. Uh, latest patch so before the release of 1.4.0 there'll be a period of time for testing the new update uh, with this there will come many bug fixes which will be updated here on this post which you can find on the steam page or in your steam library possible new features and content dependent community su suggestions so how they've done with some of the other big patches they've uh, released a unstable patch which you can you can go through your steam library and select the unstable patch to download it but we'll go over and we'll hit these uh big points real quick uh save system rework and multiple saves which is a big one because before you, you know you only had your one save you could go kind of a back doorway to do other saves but it required copying files and places but now that's all done in this in the uh in the game character creation which is uh, another nice feature clothing and body armor and so far what i've been testing the patch this is really cool uh first laboratory laboratory location and new pois which i have not been to the lab yet but uh we'll get there uh, matter of fact if you're watching this today uh, come check me out over on Twitch. I will be live streaming later and possibly as you're uh, watching this now. So check the link in the description and you'll you'll find the link over to my Twitch. Uh, electricity and generators, which we, we've played around with that a little bit. Steam achievements, a horde beacon, many new items including a grenade launcher, new POIs, ability to push zombies, when aiming a firearm keep inventory on death difficulty option which i've tested out a little bit and you know that's kind of a personal thing whether you you like that or not uh, i've been using it and it's kind of saved my ass a few times it's just again single player game you play it like you want uh, improved infestation and vehicle spawning system rework now this right here improved infestations i've always been kind of a critic of the infestations that they were cool didn't really add a whole lot of difficulty i won't spoil what they change but let me tell you the reason why this keep inventory on death option to save me a few times is due to infestations they are no joke now i mean they, they you will you'll die uh it's, it's it added a level of difficulty to infestations they didn't have before give it a thumbs up bolt action rifles and shotguns no longer need a loader uh, fixed issue with human AI getting stuck in a melee combat. Uh, first person sight zoom issue. Fix that. Fixed issues with optimization rendering objects when far away from player and rendering lights when far away and more. Now since this unstable patch release, they have gone through some fixes. And if you scroll through, op fix one, two, three, four, five, six and seven so yeah so there's been a lot of bug fixes to this unstable patch which is why they do the unstable patch before they release it uh survivor is really working hard to get this one uh sorted out and uh, i'll be honest with you he's doing a great job uh this patch is really nice now the big thing about this patch and it could be a downer for some of you, especially if you played this game for a long time, is you are going to have to start a new save. Your old saves are not going to work on the new patch, so you're going to have to start from scratch, which in one regard kind of sucks, but on the other hand, it, you play the game, you know how to get things I, I played for three or four hours already and and while i'm not back up to where i was before in, in regards to you know having everything 
you know, I know how the game works. I know where to find the stuff. I'm not having too hard of an issue. So with all that out of the way and, and to try not to make this video too long, we're going to uh, cover a few things here. Let me see if I can get my game back running. Give me just a second. All right. Well, apparently my game locked up while I was shooting that first little part, but we got it back up and running. So uh, let's do this. Let's go with a new game. And we'll go through the character customization in this video. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe and you will catch the other videos that I'm going to be making about the new update in over the coming week. So you have a name, four names, surname. So we'll just name this guy like and like and subscribe you can change their age i don't know if this makes any difference let's just make him old 47 is old right yeah you can choose your prior occupation he's unemployed uh male and female character you have a choice of skin color hair type skin oh that's some nice hair there about that now oh, there you go choose your hair color red and ginger reds well red to red ginger jewelry okay purple sure light blonde eh gray here we go because he's old uh we can do some beards here beards goatees mustache oh look at that mustache not a beard and then you can change the uh color of your beard Let's go with gray again and then two choices of eyebrows so you have unibrow and not unibrow there we go so let's continue uh, and then of course you have your difficulty options you always have the permadeath solution you have your presets your peaceful standard hardened or nightmare and of course we've covered this in other videos but you can again single player game you play it like you want so feel free to just go nuts on the slider so you have your general your ai your loot and then you can go in and change you know your rarity of uh how you want it normal so your options are none not recommended insanely rare extremely rare rare normal common abundant and everywhere your player sets keep inventory on death again i have been testing this so i check that reset passive skills on death you know your hunger thirst stamina invincibility and then vehicles pretty self-explanatory and then you can start up your new save in the 1.4 unstable patch so let's get in here and see what this looks like all right we're in the game and again some of the big things that i i think are important on this patch <clears throat> is your multiple saves so now if you hit your escape menu you do have the option to quick save save if you click the save you're going to pull up your main save screen and it's going to show you all your different saves so let's just uh, back out of that and then if you go into your inventory they did change up your slots so we're going to grab our knife put it in the melee slot so now you, you'll notice you know your face wear headwear eyewear accessory torso gloves legs so you have pants and stuff that you can uh let's take your pants off so there we go get off my lawn so you have the option of changing clothing your primary secondary melee and sidearm are all still the same your vicinity tab inventory your secure container and then of course your throwables binoculars flashlight compass fishing rod and your gps one thing you'll notice that's missing is your equipment slot so before you would need the wire cutters or the bolt cutters to get into the locked 
uh, gun safes. Let's get our knife out. But now you can just have those in your inventory and you don't need to have them in one of your hot bar slots. And also one thing to note, and we'll cover this in later videos, is your legs and torso, you can get different clothing options which will add extra inventory slots depending on what the clothing is. And we'll be testing that in future videos. So again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. And also check the link in the description. I will be live on Twitch later today playing the unstable patch. So make sure to check it, go over there and give me a follow so you don't miss any time we go live over there. So that's it for today. New unstable patch. It's pretty sweet. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.